Welcome back. This is AP Environmental Science Chapter 5. And in this video, we're going to talk about evolution by random processes. And so a population can change over time by these four random processes that you see on this slide. That means that fitness has nothing to do with, in this case, fitness has nothing to do with the population changing, but it's these random processes that causes, cause a population to change. And so the first of the four is called mutation. And so mutation is just a change in the genetic code of an individual. And these happen all the time, uh, constantly. And the mutation can be good, it can be bad, so it can benefit the organism, it can be bad for the organism, even lethal, or it can be a mutation that really has nothing to do with anything and, and doesn't harm or help the individual. Sometimes mutations change to such a degree that the individual is now quite a bit different, like you see here, this black furred uh, mouse. It has a mutation. It's now black furred in this large population of white furred mice, as you see here, 10% now black, 90% white. And through multiple generations, through time, the composition, the genetic composition of the population changes where now you have 30% black furred mice and 70% white furred mice. So that's through mutation, a random process that you can get a population that looks like this to change through time and now look completely different. Genetic drift is a random process that causes a, a population to change through time. So large populations are pretty stable. And so you see here, this population has 40% black furred mice, 60% white furred mice. And because it's so large, you're not going to really have too much of a change uh, in the population over time. It's going to remain 40% black furred mice, 60% white furred mice, more or less. But if you have a small population, genetic drift can occur. Genetic drift can occur. And so the initial population is very small, but it still has that composition of 40% black furred mice, 60% white furred mice. And what can happen when you have a small population is just a few individuals randomly uh, disappearing, whether that they, maybe they didn't find a mate for that generation, or they uh, got a disease or died in, in some way. That means that their genes don't get passed on, and that really affects the next generation. And so let's say this little guy here didn't find a mate, which is random process, random mating. And so what you end up getting is a comp now the next generation is going to have a completely new genetic composition. It really drastically affects the composition of that population because it's so small. And then... Uh, these genes are so small now that uh, potentially, uh, again, through random mating or just uh, uh, other random effects, it can cause the, gen, uh, the genes to drift even more. And now the composition is 0% black, 10% white. Right? This is called genetic drift. And so the genes are um, changing. The comp genetic composition is changing over time in a small population. This happens. We also have bottleneck effect. Bottleneck effect means that there's been a drastic decrease in the size of the population. Or uh, if you think of a bottle, all right, if I can draw a bottle, we'll see. Okay, so if this is our bottle, you have a large population that fills this bottle right here, but then it has to get through this bottleneck. And so when it gets out, uh, you know, out through the bottleneck, you have a smaller population. That's where they get this idea that bottleneck, it sort of squeezes the population to a smaller size. And so we have the population, a large population here. Here's the genetic composition. And there's a reduction of size, population size. And now we only have these remaining survivors. This reduction in size can be due to habitat loss. It could be due to a natural disaster. Uh, disease, all sorts of things, right? But now you have this population right here surviving. And now the composition, so this is called the bottleneck population. It's the survivors. 
and the composition is now much different. Instead of 40% black, 10% brown, 50% white, you have 67% black, 33% brown, 0% white. Now these bottleneck survivors are going to randomly mate and those genes are going to be preserved and changed and, and you're going to change through time now through just natural processes. The last one is the founder effect. And so the founder effect is where a few individuals colonize a new geographic, um, a geographic position. So uh, oftentimes we talk about mainland organisms going to an island. So whether that's, you know, seeds flying through the air and reaching an island or whether that's birds flying, you know, going off migration route and reaching an island. We often talk about founder effect in these terms. So mainland, this is the genetic composition of the mice, 40% black, 10% brown, 50% white. And then you have a small portion that become the founders, right? So these mice, for whatever reason, maybe they there was a drastic storm, the mice grabbed a hold of a piece of wood uh, and drifted to a nearby island. Now these these founders are now going to be their own population. They're the founding, founding population. And the genetic composition is completely different. And now these founders are going to be mating, and this is going to change the composition through time. And so here's the new comp genetic composition. This is called the founder effect. It happens randomly. So these, these four are all... Uh, random processes that evolution occurs by.